Karibu tena wapenzi watazamaji kwenye mwendelezo wa masungumzo yetu kutoka kwa kituo chako pendwa cha Kenya ni Media. Hii leo tarehe mbili mwezi wa tatu mwaka na nne studio ni jina langu nafahamika kama Mr. Eagle 8. Ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza mambo yameweza kuchemka. Wabunge wa muungano wa Kenya kwanza chama cha UDA kutoka upande wa mlima Kenya wameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kuopoze wameanza kuopoze ile bajeti ya mwaka 2024 23 ambayo waliweza kupitisha kule bungeni wakiwemo rigadi gashawa je ni kipi ambacho kimeweza kujiri Na haya mtazamaji wangu yameweza kutokea siku chache tu baada ya William Ruto kuweza kuonekana na Raila Amolo Odinga ambapo William Ruto anampigia ubatu Raila Amolo Odinga aweza kuondoka katika ulingo wa siasa za hapa nchini ili aweze kuelekea upande wa Ethiopia akue mwenyekiti wa muungano wa jumuiya ya Afrika inaonekana wao wameweza kuona kwamba it's politics of betrayal wameanza kuvuta nyuma mpaka rigadi gachagwa kuna post ambazo zimeweza kutolewa kwenye mitandao ya kijamii post tatu zimeweza kunichekesha post ya kwanza ni yake madam Pauline Njoroge akaweza ku post TV nao Mount Kenya leaders within UDA are telling us that they had no they had not noticed uh, some mistakes in the finance bill 2023 like the levy on agriculture produce in short walipitisha bila kusoma just like they asked our people to follow ruto without deep interrogation of some serious issues just like they fought BBI but are now sorting from the roof uh, shouting from the rooftops how one man one vote one shilling should be added into the uh, into the nadical report si walikuwa wamesema wataki pesa wanataka wilibaru huyu ni madam Pauline Njoroga anatuambia kwamba ameweza kushangazwa na jinsi ambavyo wabunge wa UDA kutoka upande wa mlima Kenya wameweza kumeke u turn na kuamua kupiga kelele wakisema kwamba finance bill ya 2023 ni mbaya eti kwamba waliweza kuipitisha bila kusoma na ni leo mtazamaji wangu sasa hivi hawa wabunge ndio walikuwa wanapingana na BBI unajua kitu ambacho niliweza kukuambia they followed William Ruto because Ruto was against Raila Amolo Odinga and for some years you have been knowing that Mount Kenya has been voting against Raila Amolo Odinga so they voted for William Ruto because William Ruto was against Raila Amolo Odinga sasa hivi wanataka ile issue ya one man one shilling iweze kukuwa added into the nadical report nadical report unaelewa kwamba ni ile ama ni yale masungumzo ama ni ile ripoti ya masungumzo ya by partisan report ambapo some of the issues zilikuwa sorted out na wao wanataka one man one shilling iweze kuwekwa pale lakini katika uh, BBI ya 2021 2022 pale ndani BBI ilikuwa inasema kwamba one man one vote one shilling iweze kuwepo lakini wakapingana so walikuwa wanafuata mkondo bila ya kuweza ku, eh, kuweza kujua mkondo ni wa nini hiyo ni statement ya kwanza statement ya pili mtazamaji wangu ni kutoka kwake wa hometuku vile vile inahusiana na jinsi ambavyo wabunge wa mlima Kenya wameweza kumeke u turn wa hometuku akaweza kusema kwamba William Ruto is going to reign in Mount Kenya leaders stay, uh, starting with his deputy president who are purporting to say that they are rethinking the taxes levied in farm produce. William Ruto ni moto. He is going to make just one statement to silence them. 
mambo ya kupunguza au kuondoa tax hiyo watu wasahau kabisa that will be the end of the debate and i will support huyo ni bwana thuku ameweza kusema hivyo already william ruto is very unhappy with remarks made by some uda leaders at the barrio in tetu 3 weeks ago by the way even if the mps understood uh, even if the mps understood the implications of the finance bill there was no way of rejecting it with william samuirutu's eye watching on them unajua william ruto aliweza kuwaonya hao wabunge kwamba atakuwa anaangalia kutoka state house aweza kuona ni nani ambaye atakuja kupingana na bajeti ya kwanza kabisa ya serikali ya bwana William Samui Arap Ruto. So, wahome tuko wanasema eti kwamba William Samui Ruto is not happy with the remarks ambazo wabunge kutoka upande wa Mlima Kenya waliweza kutoa upande wa Mlima Kenya like three weeks ago. Wabunge wa Mlima Kenya waliweza kusema kwamba wameweza kukataa wa nanchi wao wa Mlima Kenya kuweza kutolewa tax za nini za avocado so they incited Kenyans in Mount Kenya not to pay the tax for avocado from those remarks it has been established that William Samoei Ruto is not happy with those remarks of UDA members na nimeweza kukueleza kwamba hao wabunge wa UDA wameanza kuleta hii nyef nyef baada ya kuweza kuona Raila Odinga wakiwa na William Samoi Arap Ruto posti ya mwisho ni kutoka kwake Edwin Sifuna Edwin Sifuna akaweza kuandika hivi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii this stuff just writes itself the people told you they did not want these taxes but you didn't listen now that ground is lava you are having a change of heart i urge all kenyans to emulate to emulate the avocado farmers of muranga ground in moto uh, ground moto is the only language kenya kwisha understands alafu akaweza kuattach uh, gazeti la daily nation ambalo liliweza kuripoti kwamba on the issue regarding the chawa aliweza ama iliweza kuripotiwa kwamba regarding the is about turn on farm produce tax on the issue of the tax law passed by parliament we will have real, uh, we have realized it has some mistakes as it seeks to introduce a levy on agriculture produce i have talked to the P, uh, president and the treasury cs njuguna and we shall talk about it mm? unasikia mtazamaji wangu huyo ni gachawa ambaye ameweza kusema hayo. Gachagua anasema kwamba ameweza kuangalia hii tax ambayo ama hii bill, budget bill ambayo iliweza kupitishwa 2023 amegundua kwamba iko na makosa. Kwa sababu gani? Wamegundua kwamba waf, wafugaji pamoja na wakulima wameweza kuwekewa tax kama vile za avocado, tax kama vile za ngombe, agriculture produce. Na kwa hivyo anataka iweze kuondolewa. Na ndio Edwin Sifuna anauliza hivi jamani. Kabla hatujaweza kupitisha hii finance bill kule bungeni, wananchi waliweza kuambia kwamba hii bajeti ni mbaya. Jaribu kuondoa vitu fulani. Wakaanza kusema huo oh, sijui azimio it's against their development. Sasa hivi wameweza kugundua kwamba mambo ni mabaya. They are making a U turn. Na nielewa mtazamaji wangu. But why But why is the Kenya Kwanza MPs from Mount Kenya making a U turn after seeing William Samui Arap Ruto and Raila Odinga? Na unajua William Ruto ni mjanja. Aliweza kuongojea mpaka kipindi ambapo wameweza kupitisha housing levy. Wakaamua kufanya nini? Wakaamua uh, ama akaamua kupatana na Raila. Na sasa hivi William Ruto anawanyoa And now they are making a U turn. But why is this story coming after William Ruto meeting Raila Odinga? Hilo ndilo tunataka kuweza kuangazia sasa hivi. Lakini kabla ya hapa wacha nikukaribishe mpenzi mtazamaji kama wewe ni mgeni hapa chukua sekunde yako moja mbili tatu ukapige subscription, ulike video, alafu uweze kubonyeza kengele.
Kitu ambacho nimeweza kurealize ambacho kimeweza kufanya hawa wabunge kutoka upande wa Mlima Kenya uh, kuamua sasa ite kwamba wanataka uh, avocado tax ziweze kuondolewa wameweza kugundua kwamba the ground in Mount Kenya is very hostile the way Mr Edwin Sifuna has put it clear wamegundua kwamba ground upande wa Mlima Kenya sio mchezo wananchi wameweza kuhama kabisa hawataki kusikia issue ambayo inahusiana na serikali ya Kenya kwisha na nielewa mtazamaji wangu so after the ground imeanza kukaa hostile wanataka angalau kuweza kurudisha nyoyo za wakenya kuelekea kwa serikali ya bwana Ruto ili kuweza kuwaondolea uh, wananchi tax za avocado naelewa kwamba kutoka upande wa muranga ndio wananchi wameweza kuamuka juu na kusema kwamba watalipa tax za kuweza ama tax za avocado and that's why you had Edwin Sifuna akisema kwamba let's emulate wacha tuige mfano wa watu wa Muranga ambao wameweza kusema no to tax of avocado so ikiwa wakenya wote wataweza kuamuka juu kutoka upande wa Kenya nzima waweza kusema kwamba no to housing levy itakuwa ni bora tena zaidi jinsi ambavyo watu wa mlima Kenya wameweza kuamka na kuweza kusoma kwamba no to avocado levy na nielewa sababu ya pili ama kitu cha pili ambacho nimeweza kuona hapa Mount Kenya uh, MPs have sensed the politics of betrayal uh, so they want to incite Kenyans ndio Ruto aweze kuogopa mbona nasungumza hivyo Mount Kenya ukiweza kuangalia hii issue imeanza baada ya William Ruto kupatana na Raila Odinga. Wameweza kushindwa kusungumza ite kwamba William Ruto ameweza kubetroi Rigathi Gachagua. I've been waiting mtu ambaye anaitwa Ndindi Nyoro na Kimani Ichungwa waweza kusema ite kwamba William Ruto ameweza kubetroi Mount Kenya sijaona akisungumza. Sijaona wakisungumza. So hawa wabunge wa UDA kutoka upande wa Mlima Kenya wameweza ku no, ama wameweza ku sense politics of betrayal so wanataka kuweza kucheza michezo ya e, paka na panya ili kuweza kumtishia William Ruto asifikirie kitu kama usaliti kwa sababu 2027 inamongoja na baada atahitaji uh, support ya Mlima Kenya issue namba 3 ambayo nimeweza kujifunza kutoka kwa hizi ama kutoka kwa haya mambo ambayo yanaendelea kutoka upande wa Mlima Kenya it's that uh, Mount Kenya are regretting for not listening to Uhuru Kenyatta during the campaign Mount Kenya at large even the Kenya Kwisha MPs they have come out to show that they are regretting for not listening to Uhuru Kenyatta during the campaign period Kwani I think kipindi ambapo waliweza kupiti waliweza kufuata William Ruto I thought wataweza kukubali kile kitu ambacho bwana Ruto anawaambia. Why are now why are they now changing the heart na kuweza kuingia upande wa muungano wa Azimio moja wa Kenya kuweza kupingana na tax za hapa nchini kwa sababu ukiweza kuangalia mtazamaji wangu Muungano wa Azimio moja wa Kenya ndio unapingana na taxes ambazo ziliweza kutolewa hapa nchini. Tax za avocado, tax za pei, tax za housing levy, hizo zote ni muungano wa Azimio moja wa Kenya wanapingana nazo. Mbona wabunge kutoka upande wa Mlima Kenya wanaamua kuingilia hilo? Na nielewa mtazamaji wangu. So, wameweza kugundua kwamba Uh, waliweza ku make a mistake and that's why uh, they are now confirming to Kenyans that they are regretting finally kitu ambacho nimeweza kuona hapa ambacho kimeweza kuwafanya wabunge hawa kuweza kupiga kelele uh, this Kenya Kwish MPs are confirming to Kenyans that they voted for 2023 2024 financial bill in pressure without reading and rereading it to understand. Hao wabunge pamoja na Rigathi Gachagua 
wana confirm kuelekea kwa wakenya kwamba walipitisha bajeti ya mwaka 2023-2024 wakiwa wamekewa pressure bila ya kusoma na kuweza kuelewa zile changamoto ambazo zitapatikana yale matatizo ambayo yataweza kuwakumba wananchi kipindi ambapo watapitisha hii bajeti waliweza kupitisha hii bajeti kutokana na kwamba walikuwa na kaziwa na William Ruto sasa hivi ndi wameenda wameketi chini wameweza kuona kwamba ushuru wa avocado haukuku unahitajika ushuru wa kufuga kuku haukuku unahitajika ushuru wa kujenga nyumba haukuku unahitajika and that's why unaona hao wabunge they have started inciting Kenyans ambapo wahome tu wameweza kutuambia very clearly that hamna tax ambayo itaenda kupunguzwa kitu ambacho William Samoei Ruto atakifanya tu ni kupiga kelele mara moja na hizi kelele zao za kutaka taxes ziweze kupunguzwa zitulie the way William Ruto aliweza kupiga kelele mara moja na kuweza kumaliza zile siasa zake ndindi nyoro upande wa mlima Kenya wazo lako mtazamaji ni lipi baada ya mlima Kenya kuweza ku realize kwamba bajeti ya mwaka 2023-2024 ambayo imeweza kuwafanya wakenya sasa hivi wamekamuliwa kabisa iti ilikuwa na makosa hii bajeti ndio imeweza kufanya wakenya wengi wamekosa ajira kwa sababu waliongeza VAT VAT kaongeza mafuta mafuta yamefanya wananchi wengi wako nyumbani hawana kazi wamefutwa kazi hii bajeti ndio imeweza kufanya wagonjwa kule hospitalini hawawezi wakapata madawa hii bajeti ndio imeweza kufanya wakenya hawawezi wawe, wakamudu kuwachukua wanafunzi wao shuleni hii bajeti ndio imeweza kufanya wakenya wanapitia hali ngumu ya kimaisha chakula kimeweza kupanda investors wameweza kuhama kutoka taifa la Kenya wazo lako mtazamaji ni lipi sema nasi ili tuweze kupata wazo lako la maoni ingekuwa ni vizuri kabisa mtazamaji wangu kama haujaweza kupiga subscription uweze kuconsider subscribing ulike video bonyeze kengele kwa sababu ukishafanya hayo mtazamaji wangu hiyo ndio support ambayo utakuwa umetupea karibu tuweze kupatana kwa kanda ijayo